Charles the Priest. Now, we're not going to tell you who made it yet, because most people think that his music is ugly and too weird and, and which have nothing whatever to do with him and the crazed minority he represents. Okay? You can see it. We tell you who made this Hot Rats album right on. You push the button to another station and that it Okay. Nevertheless, Hot Rats is really a good album. It has a lot of pictures all over it, and you hold the outside cover, which is a pink infrared close-up of Miss Christine of the GTOs under a yellow light. It turns black and white mysteriously white right there in the camera. Now, in spite of this fact, we feel it is imperative that you obtain Hot Rats. We hope that you will discover the work of this exciting composer, this, this daring arranger, this, this reasonably competent guitar player, who must unfortunately remain anonymous during this mission. across the street from the Kensington Market in London.
Everybody. Oh, I don't know if I've decided what the secret word is yet. You'll probably know if it comes up. We are going to play the next song in just a moment. I just got to tune up. Otherwise, it won't be so pleasant. How are you feeling this evening? Excellent, thank you so much for coming out and supporting this. This record is uh, 50 years old and still ahead of its time. Yes? All right, this next song is called The Son of Mr. Green Jean. Thank you.
Thank you very much. We appreciate that. <laughs> All right. My guitar is not behaving very well at the moment. All right, so this next one. As far as I know, it was never performed live on stage by my dad, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's one of the most interesting songs on the record. It's called Little Umbrella. <laughs> one features the saxophone and Sheila Gonzalez.
interesting compositions of all time. Some of you might have skipped over this song on the record because it's, it's, it's one that takes a lot of concentration to, to listen to and then try to understand how the fuck did he even come up with this? <laughs> it is that I feel that way about many things that, that he wrote, but this is, this is one that uh, having learned it, I, I've gained an even uh, better appreciation for this composition. So it's called It Must Be a Camel.
is the entire Hot Rats album 50 years later live on stage. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the portion of the evening where the venue requires us to give you the opportunity to go and enjoy the rest of the theater. <laughs> it's an intermission, so feel free to visit the merch stand and whatnot. We will see you back in a few minutes. Thank you so much. Did you enjoy your intermission? It is time for us to play more music for you now. This one features Sean Coey on the lead vocals. Everybody ready?
Oh, 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 oh,
All right, so this next song is going to feature Adam Minkoff on the lead vocals. You will probably recognize it, but we have, we've also thrown in a little section that we have discovered from uh, a rehearsal tape that had unreleased music that's never been out before, it's never been played other than this rehearsal. So we thought, well, why not just throw in little mystery riffs into portions of the show? So you might hear some stuff like that. And if you find yourself wondering what it is, it's most likely a mystery riff from rehearsal. Okay, let me just make sure this one's in tune and we will get right to it. That's my name. All right, here we go. Chicken. 
can holler or bang her head all along the wall. She don't give me what I want. Yeah.
That's right, folks, you asked for it. Remember, there's a big difference between kneeling down and bending over. He's got twenty million dollars in his heavenly bank accounts. All from those chumps who was born again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's got seven limousines and a flight plane. All for the use of his special friend.
crying about? I'm
Good job. 
I thought it was a raisin and a can of foamy goo. My buddy told me right then when the top popped in that there was nothing this box won't do. With the oil, the back of the and the dust of the He says, you may not believe this little fella, but it'll cure your
tonight. Phenomenal here. Sir Williams, I'm so sorry. But I'm gonna blow some jazz changes. He, he said he wanted to hear yeah. Jurassic Park. What, the what? He wanted to hear Jurassic Park. Oh, let's bring that. with Sheila, but Sheila's husband, James, is here. Let's bring James Santiago out. Let's see what happens when James picks up the guitar. There it is. James has been hanging out with some friends in New York, playing a lot of guitar, taking some guitar lessons. <laughs> All right, let's hear, let's hear what you got, James. Okay, Jeff. Let's go again. 
Yeah. Why can't this be love? Especially the part where it's like, only time will tell if we stand the test of time. Whoa, here it comes. That something feeling again, yeah. Something, 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 baby, yeah. Pretty good. Let's, I love it. Let, let's any other song besides this one. I think you do, I think you do. Hold on, let's well, let's yeah. let's cut the band out. Let's cut the band out. Now, Johnny. I'd like to hear something, something like maybe maybe a, a Beatles tune, like like I dig a ponent. A P-O-N-I-P ponent? Yeah. I dig a pony, and you can celebrate, baby. Celebrate, baby. I said celebrate anything. So I snatched it all the way from 
from him, and I showed them how to do it, bro.
Thank you very much, everybody! Hope to see you again soon. I know we're going to be back in early 2020. We'll be in New York City and some other places. So, thank you so much. See you soon. Good night, everybody.